Good morning from Dubai. Well, I have to fill you in. I'm only starting my vlog now. So I got in last night. Um, first of all, let me show you the view from my room. I asked for a room with a view and I certainly got that. Um, and then we can have the little chats. This is my amazing view. Like, how fab is this? So I'll give you a quick little tour before I head out um, and explore. But like I can see for miles, it's amazing. So I'm just in my fancy chair. So I'll fill you in. So I'm in Dubai, I got in last night. Um, I should have showed you the room before. I haven't wrecked it, but it's not as perfect as it was. I'll give you a little tour now. So I'm in Dubai for the week. I am probably gonna break these vlogs down into maybe three vlogs um, because I'm doing like something fun each day. So I wanna be able to kind of like capture the detail in each day. So I flew in last night. Um, it was late when I got to my hotel and I kind of overslept this morning, which I didn't want to do because I don't want to get jet lag. So, um, but it's only a four hour time difference, so it's fine. So in this vlog, um, this morning, I'm gonna head down to, gonna do the Burj Khalifa. I'm gonna find some food for us because I'm starving. Um, I miss breakfast. I'm going to check out the Dubai Mall because um, although I'm not a big shopper, I can't come all the way and not go to Dubai Mall. So I'm gonna have ramble around that and there's like a souk beside it as well. Um, so, so far it's been so lovely, so amazing. It's winter here, but it's so warm. Um, it's so hot, so I'm so glad I came this time of year and not in their summer because it's just like a really sticky heat. <laughs> my flight was really, I flew Emirates. It was my first time flying Emirates and they have a direct flight from Dublin because when I was looking at flights, it was much cheaper to fly to like London and transfer, but me being like a nervous traveler, I just got the Emirates flight and it was lovely. I had loads of wine on the plane, so maybe that's why I'm a bit, maybe that's why I overslept today and it's not the jet lag, it's the wine from the plane. And yes, I am solo traveling. So far so good, everyone has been so lovely. Um, I am gonna be meeting up with Irene from Gingham and Sparkle. Um, that's her Instagram, I'll pop it here. I'm gonna meet her up, I meet up with her during the week. We're gonna have like an afternoon tea. Um, and then maybe go to the beach as well. So um, I do know a few people over here, um, but I am solo traveling. But like before I came, I was like, oh, be careful, the men or whatever. They need to be careful of me. <laughs> uh, but no, everyone's been lovely. So chivalrous and so polite and yeah, no, really, really nice. So I'll, let you, I'll keep you posted on my solo travel progress as we, as the vlogs progress. So I'm gonna give you a quick show of my room because I never get nice rooms when I go to hotels and this is absolutely lovely. I'm staying in the Jumeirah Jum or Jumeirah um, Emirates Tower. So I'm staying in downtown Dubai because there's a metro beside me. It's more, I didn't wanna stay in a resort as a solo traveler because I'm not one to just sit on the beach anyway. I am here to explore. Um, I'm not here to park my arse on the beach. Maybe one or two afternoons I will, but I'm here to explore, so I chose downtown um, Dubai to stay in. The Burj Khalifa is behind me, Dubai Mall is on far. Um, and in the beaches, Dubai isn't as big as I thought. It's not as big as like New York, I don't think, because I can see the beach when I look out the window. Um, so yeah, let's go ramble, quick room tour, and then go to Burj Khalifa. Last night I asked the lady for a room with a view and she said I can give you a room with a view however you put on a ladies only floor and I said ladies only um, so I was fine with that because like in fairness I'm not really going to get a man over here but you wouldn't know you wouldn't know it might be some rich shake that might have me over here um, so my room is just stunning when we start at the top so as soon as you come in I just have like a lovely view I think is the first thing you notice then I have my gorgeous bed, which I'll show it to you made up, but it was absolutely comfy. And then over here, I just have TV, um, coffees. There's all like coffee and Rooney bar in there. Nice little desk, which I've made myself at home already. I was doing my makeup, it was so lovely there. In here, I have like wardrobes, but they give you loads of stuff. So they even give you like a hair straightener. Um, 
like there's loads of like there's two three robes um i noticed in here there was like a yoga mat a yoga mat as if i'll be doing any yoga <laughs> um so yeah nice little place to get ready there's just a few bottles of um i snuck in a little bit of drink because i believe it's hard to get here and then over here we have the bathroom so there's really nice like toiletries here and um, this is like a show part show part ladies room i think it's called um so you have your little sink area you have your bathtub and then you have a gorgeous shower in here so it's nice the way everything is kind of like separate and then just like your toilet and stuff it is a quick little hotel room tour <laughs> I love watching uh, hotel rooms when people do that in their vlogs um, right so let's get ready to go explore this is a great outfit of the day mirror isn't it <laughs> this is my cute dress it's um, one from last year you probably saw this dress in my New York vlog from last year but look at my cute little backpack I have a little mini backpack um, just with some cash and whatever to explore so I have my mini backpack and my camera I'm ready to go
top of the Burj Khalifa and I only went up to floor 128 I think um, where you get to see loads you can go up oh sorry you can go up another level um, I think it's like 148 or something I'm not sure if you can hear me it's a bit loud uh, behind me so I'm getting my bearings of the place seeing everything up here um, so I hope I captured enough of the views um, I'm going to go to a souk next I'm just going to go to the soup that's at the shopping centre and then I'm going to wait for it to get dark so I can see the Dubai fountains at night time. Um, so the weather is beautiful, it's roasting and it's winter in Dubai but it's like not winter. I'm sweating, you can probably see on the cheeks. Um, had a little walk today, hopefully I had my sun cream on but I hope I didn't burn my arms. So that's the top of the Burj Khalifa, yeah. tallest building in the world so far. Um, yeah, it was really nice. It reminded me of being um, on, like last year when I was in New York. It reminded me um, of like Top of the Rock. Um, so yeah, I love now a good view. I do. So yeah, let's go to the suits. Good evening. Okay, that is day one complete. Um, good ramble around Dubai Mall. Got to see the fountains in daytime and nighttime. Um, Dubai Mall is, you could definitely spend like the whole day there. Um, ice skating, aquarium, um, skiing. And then obviously you have everything outside like the fountain. There's a souk beside it. Um, good to people watch as well. Um, so yeah, it's really good to kind of get your bearings. Like I said, I got the metro, but um, if you are getting the metro, so when you get the metro to the Dubai Mall, there's a good walk from the metro station to the actual shopping center. Um, so at least if you get a taxi, it'll just drop you at the door. Now, tomorrow, I have an early start, so I'm going to have a nice bath now and relax because I have a really early start tomorrow because we are going into the desert and um, hot air balloon time. And I'm just like, I think I'm actually terrified to go on a hot air balloon, but sure, listen, we will give it a bash. <laughs> so the next time you see me, it will be really, really early and we will be heading to the desert for sunrise. So this is the view at night time. Um, it's so lovely. It actually, last night I slept with the curtains open with the twinkly lights because it was just so relaxing.
properly start my vlog because I don't think I got a chance to say hello before the um, hot air balloons went up in the sky. Oh, hang on. Info. Just landed from a hot air balloon, which is amazing. Basically, being on a hot air balloon just feels like you're floating. Um, it just feels like it's not bumpy. It's like so smooth. It's so nice. So now we're going to get breakfast in the desert. That was so much fun. So we just got a <coughs> safari back from breakfast. So we got breakfast in the conservation centre. There's like this place set up where everyone can have like breakfast and stuff. So that was really, really fun. And we're just heading back to our mini buses now. I am off to explore. Um, I just had 40 winks. Um, my little dress, I'll try and link it below. It's from ASOS and I got it like in January and it's so, it's nice and loose um, because although it's winter here, it is very warm. So we're gonna head to the beach. Just come back to my hotel room and I've come to some birthday cake um, which is so nice to the hotel and I'm just running myself a bath um, and I'm gonna treat myself to a bath because like it was seen not to have a bath while I'm here and I just noticed that they have like bath crystals in the corner so that is day two done um, I really liked having a ramble around JBR um, I like that there was loads of pedestrian like footpaths and stuff so you could really walk around and explore um, and I had a good walk on the beach and I think that beach air has knocked me out so I'm going to end this vlog let this be the first vlog um, because I don't want them to be too long tomorrow which would be vlog 2 I am headed to the Miracle Gardens because um, we all know my granny and I love anything garden related so I'm going to the Miracle Gardens and the Butterfly Gardens tomorrow and a few other little bits um, which will be in my second vlog so I hope you like this one thumbs up subscribe cheeky thumbs up as they say and that's it for me let me show you my cake actually how cute is my cake that is just so sweet of them to cop like my date of birth on the passport. So I have a cheeky bottle of champagne there. And I'm going to have champagne and cake. <laughs>